Welcome to Adventure Story Channel videos. Thank you very much to be here today with me. This video took a lot of time and a lot of thinking uh, what I can put for my dear viewers and my dear subscribers within the marine industry so they can boost their own development and effectiveness through their career and gain much more opportunities. First thing I would like to inform you that it's in total 11 things which I was thinking and also collecting through the career. These things it's better to know from the beginning so you will avoid and you will be much better well prepared so you can manage the things much easier. And the best thing uh, that all us humans we want is the best thing, the easiest thing and the most effective thing to happen to us uh, with more potential gains uh, for the future also uh, from the view of uh, let's say knowledge development and also uh, our efficient uh, way of thinking. First thing that I would like to share with you it is uh, many times what happened in the industry when we move from one position to another let's say from third engineer to second engineer or second engineer to chief engineer uh, mostly as yes, from let's say officer position of a junior officer to officer there is some cases that companies will ask you to join uh, let's say for a short period of three to four months or five months with a lower salary and then they will uh, change the salary to your normal let's say uh, levels uh, from my side I have been also uh, in that case and I can say that I made that mistake I was a little bit uh, let's say um, easy to accept that or to say okay that thing but uh, then these things yes uh, you will regret regret for sure and uh, I have discussed the similar situation with one of my friends one, one of my close friends I described him that he not should do these things and also I will propose to you to not do these things because if you do these things first of all you lose your money which actually you deserve it and that is true nobody gives you money for nothing you're there you'll be there 24 uh, 7 and uh, from maybe then yes okay then I was young really young but in this age, let's say, almost growing also with, with all the positions, I really uh, appreciate the work uh, that people are done uh, on board. So even if you have not that much knowledge or experience, it should not be treated uh, this way. And also, uh, the companies that are doing this uh, kind of let's say um, salary reduction for the juniors they should think would they would like also to behave to them with the same way as they behave to the officers and also thinking the way that uh, if as a company you would like to develop and also continue with the same people uh, in the future would you like to treat them this way and also would you like uh, to be treated this way as well and this is uh, they need to have in their mind uh, as the first thing because I don't think that this is the best way to show to your people that you are appreciate them and you are valid value them you are valid them properly when you are paying them also properly and this is shows a lot 
so the demand in the industry is really high and please stick to your demand it's a clear supply and demand proposition within the industry and for sure if everyone will demand exactly the salary of your position this salary will be given to everyone so uh, in this case Siemens will lose less money uh, for the own which is uh, money necessary to support the families and the, their loved ones and this is how the industry will be more uh, let's say defined and a much better clarity will be created within the old industry so please share this video and uh, your thumbs up so it will reach and more and more interesting people uh, within the industry uh, totally I have prepared 11 things another thing is that uh, when you are going on board do not take long travels to get on board try to adjust with the person that you will uh, going to replace which is the best let's say timing for him and also for you as well because uh, if the long travel it's let's say three planes or four planes also for him will be the same and also there is also a potential that you will miss the vessel and also uh, there is a high accuracy that you will be really tired when you are reaching the, your destination first of all I have similar experience I have traveled from uh, Greece to Taiwan uh, almost three planes 27 hours 7 hours uh, included in this travel of 27 hours it was just road and when you arrive there uh, you for sure it is good yes to know your chief engineer that <laughs> also yes there are, uh, are working hours and uh, the change uh, how it will be as yes, the change the handover in that case it is really really crazy so always thinking in that uh, do not take long travels another thing is that you should avoid to take loans uh, from the company because then you will be a lot of uh, dependent on their decision and not your decision of on when you will join uh, the vessel and boarding um, another thing uh, that is really important uh, that you will not forget anything uh, unfinished try to finish uh, most of your jobs most of your important jobs uh, while you are at shore because then you have less things to think in your mind so you'll be more relaxed and more confident and uh, have some people also that can help you uh, to progress also uh, on the shore because uh, the life it's also on board but it's also the life of the shore uh, that your uh, low one lives there another thing is uh, take all the necessary items that will help you on the voyage it can be some accessories that help you uh, to let's say entertain you or something else most of the seamen okay for sure they have laptops they have some movies uh, they have some high hard drives but you you can think uh, another things and also uh, if uh, let's say if an individual brings something interesting uh, within this small community of seamen on board it will be much more interesting but for this the most important thing is that the company will arrange all the entertainment on board like to have um, uh, something after 
uh, the, the, the normal working hours so you do not have to carry out all that items uh, another thing is that the easy you travel the easy you get out also on the vessel and this is i have seen it happens a lot if your voyage to the vessel goes and goes it's very very long really hard to get to the vessel the voyage will not be that much uh, enjoyable so the best way to join a vessel is going to the location stay one two days on the hotel relax adjust uh, run through the jet lag remove the jet lag itself and then normally as a human being board the vessel uh, that was the seventh uh, another thing that you will need to be consider that in most of the vessels that you will be attending will be somewhere in the anchorage and you must have always in case uh, in mind also that if you are boarding with a pilot ladder do not take necessary items with you uh, on your hands so you need to have your hands free and also not any uh, let's say valuable equipment everything should be uh, on the baggage which will be lifted by uh, the crew so the vertical climbing it's really demandful and um, taking account that the older the person gets uh, the effectiveness of the body and also elasticity reduces this is also uh, creates a, a prolonged to accident or a fall off from the pilot ladder another thing is that uh, planning your disembarkation that to, uh, to be as much as close to your hometown so you will try to avoid long distance uh, fly but i know that for all the siemens that have been several months on board they will not care about from what part of let's say country will fly and or let's say part of planet earth but this will be a uh, much better and one important thing is that also let's say for the managers and for the crew managers if they have a better planning with the crew changes and also if there is a, a informational uh, let's say planning on board of the vessels also and this plan will be shared at least let's say not the exact plan of the changes but at least a a let's say pro plan uh, that the people yes will have let's say uh, the intention of disembarkation and they have also some people stand by there so let's say there will not be any delays uh, for the end of the contract or for the beginning of the contract so that will be uh, really helpful and uh, this list should be filled uh, from the beginning of let's say each month each month should be updated then the crew manager will have much better overview of uh, the intention of stay and also from there he can calculate the uh, willingness of the people and can figure out some um, let's say some scores um, another thing is uh, okay always plan properly your stay time because uh, some of the vessels can go uh, for a round trip so this round trip can go for three months and then you will be uh, disappointed so take your time for planning the planning is really important uh, also 
stay calm as much as possible on board the vessel. We know that there is a different characters. Uh, the most important is that everything will be uh, working properly. You will have a good mental health and resilient. And then you can go and join again and again if all that expectations are, are meeting. So the seamanship, it's not just a specific point. It's not just uh, making the equipment working or passing all the inspections. It's all the things that we are dealing with. Let's say, for example, uh, different characters, different regions, different temperatures different situations and this is where all that parameters gives us an idea of uh, and define us who we are and where we would like to be in the future uh, from looking from uh, the beginning of our let's say officer lives and also then uh, at the end of a uh, seagoing career looking to other opportunities and locations so take your time to learn to understand and each of you will build for sure a unique and interesting uh, character that is true thank you very much uh, for watching this video hope uh, that more videos will come more frequently and uh, see you in the next video from Adventure Story channel bye bye